This week on Life on Jupiter, we are done with Antigua. We check out and head for St. Martin. We caught a fish. However, on arrival, things don't go as planned. Too many people trying to enter the country illegally. We're trying to do it legally. Ah, Relax. <laughs> I need a drink. Hello, I have an application for a visa for my wife uh, and I have a reference number here. Can I give that to you? Give me a second, please. Okay. What's the name of your wife? Uh, Princess Pasquel. P A S C U A L. Uh, this was about Friday, I think it was. But we have an email back requesting more information and I, I have a problem with that. I just wanted to ask you. And I have a reference number here. Can I give that to you? Okay, certificate. Uh, so it is all in English. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it is in English. Um, but it's uh, an explanation. Now, I, I phoned uh, your office here on Friday and I explained we are on a cruising boat we've been sailing for two years from from Southeast Asia to here so we've never lived anywhere we are living on the ocean and the lady I spoke to on Friday she said just write an explanation of that so that's what I've uh, uploaded to the internet there say it again who did I speak to I don't know the lady's name, but she was very helpful. Uh, because we've tried two times, we've tried, uh, my wife is Filipina, so she needs a visa. And we tried the Philippine police, and they said, but you don't live in the Philippines. And said, that's right, we don't. Uh, at the moment, we're in Antigua, and we asked the Antigua police, and they said, but you're not resident here, we cannot give you a certificate. So, um, yeah, the lady explained that all we need to do is explain that in a letter, and that's what I've done. And it's, yeah, it's called police certificate on the uploads. Do you think that'll be okay? I'll your problem. Uh, in about, we will leave Antigua next week, end of next week. Okay. Tomorrow, you give us a call in the morning, okay? Okay, we'll do. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. So we're in Deep Bay, still Antigua, and this will be, hopefully, our last day. We uh, are waiting for my certificate. They're gonna ring me for my boatmaster certificate. I gotta go pick it up and then we will check out and head to St. Martin. With my boatmaster certificate in hand, we checked out of Antigua. The plan was to anchor for the night and then leave very early in the morning. So I need to explain what's driving us at the moment. <laughs> um, since we were in South Africa, uh, my 
mobile number didn't work from Australia anymore. And my bank in Hong Kong, HSBC in Hong Kong, where all of 90% of my savings are, um, the security device stopped working. I had to re-register one and it would send a one-time pin code to my registered mobile in Australia. And of course it doesn't work. So I said, no, no, I need to change my phone number for my registered phone number. Oh, you need to fill out a form. In this day and age, fill out a form. Okay. Uh, and send it back to Hong Kong. And that's six weeks in the mail, unless I was to do the FedEx, you know, $130 thing. So anyway, I sent off the form. And they said, oh, no, we don't recognize your signature. You need to come into the branch. I said, I'm in South Africa. So I did another form with, in fact, I, I think I did two more forms and sent that off together with just other attempts at my signature. I mean, what more can I do? And nope, refuse, that's not, that's not your signature. I, I need to proceed to a branch. All right, where's the nearest branch? The nearest branch was Miami from Cape Town. And I said, can't you see that's an issue for me? I'm in South Africa. Can I just go to a lawyer or to po the police to prove my identity? You need to proceed to the nearest branch. That was uh, a year ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I still don't have access to my money. So we need, I, I need to get to Miami to sort out this bank thing. Mm -hmm. I could fly to Miami. I mean, I don't have the money to, but I could fly there sort the bank out, but then I may get stuck because of this COVID rubbish. I may get quarantined somewhere. Our princess is alone on the boat here in Antigua. So um, the idea is to get princess to, with me and on Jupiter to Miami. That's the plan. Um, that was not looking good for this last year. It's uh, US is not being offering tourist visas. I've already got a visa already from from work so I can go but princess can't she doesn't have a visa but we've had some good news that the US has started to take interviews for the B1 B2 visa Yay. so we need to get to Bahamas to Nassau that's the um well the next nearest US embassy we need to get to Bahamas mm -hmm. so that fingers crossed we get a visa we can go to the US I can go to the bank and sort out this. So, we need to get Bahamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. But now, first we've got to get the visa for you for Bahamas, yeah. which is a problem. They want, you know, because the Filipinas, unfortunately, need to get visas many, many places. <laughs> but we can't give them all the documents they want. They want a police certificate stating that you've been a good girl for the last year or whatever. Yeah. And so we've approached the Philippine police department online and they say, no, because you don't live in the Philippines, we can't give you one. Yeah. Um, so Bahamas Visa Application Centre said, well, go to Antigua, police." We went there and they said, but you're not a resident, we can't give you a yeah. police. So we, oh God. <laughs> We've already been denied, so we paid the fee. We've been denied uh, the Bahamas visa once, but now we're trying again, and I'm trying to explain our situation on the phone, and um, we might be getting somewhere. We might be. So uh, that's our plan. We've got to get to the Bahamas. So we're going to leave Antigua shortly. We're going to stop in St. Martin. Apparently that's open, and we can go straight in as a crew on a yacht. No problems. And then uh, step step up uh, to Bahamas after that. That's what we're working on now. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so hard. These are the hassles of uh, being itinerant hippie floaters. <laughs> Fingers crossed. They'll let us in Bahamas. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. They'll give you a US visa. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We go to America. <laughs> Ah. Oh my god. Anyway. Yep. And that's only just so I can get a few dollars out of the bank.
all tied up in Hong Kong and the bastards won't give it to me. Ah, infuriating. Anyway. Passage from Antigua to St. Martin is an easy 90 mile day sail. But we did want to get there for the 3 pm bridge opening to enter the lagoon. Good morning! Finally, we leave Antigua! It's a, uh, and right up until our very last day on our visa too, I had to wait around for my boatmaster uh, paperwork to come back. And even when we go into the office, she still hadn't done it. Yeah. And so she said, come back later. And I said, well, you know, how long will it take? She said, well, you could wait if you like. She finished it in five minutes. <laughs> We've been waiting all week for it. Damn. Yeah, and, and it was five minutes. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, all checked out and on our way to St. Martin, which is a 90 mile passage. We left at quarter past four this morning. And at this stage, it says we'll be there at about 1.30 or two o'clock. We'll be able to check in and go through the bridge and have one dollar beers. Yay! I like getting a drink beer. Okay. You can have a five dollar Coke and I'll have one dollar beers. Probably what it'll be. No shake. <laughs> so yeah, we've got perfect wind, a beam wind at the moment, about 15 to 20. keep catching the odd wave come across the boat though and we get wet but anyway it's okay we're getting along at around 10 knots got one reef in the main maybe have to put another one in later the wind's supposed to get up to 25 but it's good to be on the sea again We caught a fish! So after how many months? Oh. I haven't got it yet. <laughs> I hope we can get it. <laughs> that fish. I hope it's a main main. It's not fighting much. Is it? But it did a big run. Right up, you know? 
had a, a good sale from Antigua to St. Mark. 90 miles in 10 hours, so it was a good average, nine knots. A little bit boisterous, just a bit short chop. But, and then we got here and we come into the lagoon. Uh, we happened to time it nicely, waited for the bridge to open, we come inside go to the police to check in. They give us more forms to fill out. We have to go walk down the road to McDonald's to get to the Wi-Fi. Upload those forms and then send them to email address. Go back to the police station and we thought it was all good, but then they said, Princess is Filipino, I went, yeah. Well, that's a problem because she needs a visa. And I said, no, because on your website it says that people that normally need a visa, if they arrive by boat, they can apply the visa waiver if they arrive by boat. So I didn't read the fine print though. It says, but you will need an agent. So, um, they did not check us in. They gave us a list of agents. So, um, now we still don't have internet because, uh, well, for one, I can't get any money out of an ATM yet. This is a fairly usual drama. Every new country you go, you gotta find an ATM that takes international cards. So there's that. And then, because we were walking around at about five o'clock and I think the, the phone shops were closing, so um, tomorrow we'll go and get a SIM card. We can get some data and contact some agents. So it will cost us uh, hopefully maybe two or three hundred dollars at the most. And an agent will check us in. There's uh, alternative options. France, well, 
side of Martinique is, is uh, where are we? St. Vincent. France side of St. Vincent is just across there. And someone said, just go over to France and check in. Like it was so easy. But someone else said, no, no, you need a PCR before you check into France. So anyway, these are the dramas. Every country you go to, you do as much research as you can before you go and This is the disarray that we arrive in, you know. We thought it had a, it was going to be a smooth entry, but difficult. Got to hire an agent. Anyway, right now we're back on the boat, cooking some dinner. We've been up since 3.45 this morning, so a bit sleepy. Have a scotch or three, go to bed. <sighs> Cheers. Check out this playlist featuring one of our most favorite places on earth. Sailing the wild coast of Africa.